You know, I like to ask people, would you want to go to your doctor today and say, give me the same physical that you gave my dad 30 years ago? Well, that's basically what we're doing now with our sports physicals. My son, Cody, in, in 2011, got the same physical that I got in 1979. We've made a few medical advances in the last 30 years. The stethoscope is 200-year-old technology that's been proven to miss about 90% of heart issues, and that's the best thing we're doing for our children now today. Brandon had no symptoms, and he'd had seven physicals in nine years, and none of the physicals picked it up. He played baseball uh, throughout his whole life, collapsed on the baseball field, and uh, he never recovered. They told us if he had had an EKG, we would have known that he had a heart problem, but he never felt bad. He never had any symptoms, and of course, who does an EKG on somebody that doesn't feel bad? The day of Sean's 13th birthday was on Tuesday. We had practice that evening for football. He was down in the field practicing with everybody doing the warm-ups, and then he collapsed. His friends and I thought he was just falling around. That's the type of kid he was. But then we realized that he wasn't moving. It was absolutely the worst day of my life. You could, you could look as healthy as could be, but the underlying heart problem, you can't really discover that unless you go through a $15 EKG. It's peace of mind. Otherwise, you'd be sitting in here in the same shoes I'm in, and they're not shoes you want to be walking around in. Parents need to understand that kids are so used to playing with heart conditions that they know nothing about, that they'll just play through the pain thinking that this is the normal way they feel. I know for my son, he would have never said anything to anybody because he thought this was how he felt all the time. We try to be the best advocate we can for our children. We make sure they wear seatbelts, wear their helmets when they're doing some kind of motorsport. We make sure they have their vaccinations, but we're not doing enough to partner with our doctors to make sure the kids' hearts are safe. You can't just listen to a child's heart to see if something's wrong because the issues that cause sudden cardiac arrest in young people are structural and electrical in nature, and those have to be seen and not heard. It's really ridiculous for anyone not to think that there's value in doing EKG screening in young athletes and active youth when we have a false positive rate as low as 2%. I hear from families that they're concerned about getting their child's heart screened because they're worried about false positives and, and all the stress that could follow from that. My answer to them is that six weeks before his passing, Aiden had a well check visit at his pediatrician, who's fantastic, but no EKG was done, and we lost him six weeks later. I can tell you with great certainty that I would take any false positive any day of the week and if it meant going through a little bit of stress in the short term in order to have my son with me in the long term. To know that my son could have had an EKG and maybe that would have caught his problem is something that haunts me every day. You need to be your child's best advocate. You need to make sure that the heart history that you have in your family is something your doctor knows about and that you have an open dialogue with them concerning your kids' hearts. As a parent that has lost a child to sudden cardiac arrest, and to an undetected heart condition, it absolutely blows my mind that parents and, and student athletes are so willing to spend time, money, and effort in buying equipment and doing all these things for the sport or activity they love and do, and they don't want to take a short amount of time to ensure that their child's heart is healthy. That should be the utmost priority. One of the biggest arguments against EKG screenings is that it doesn't happen often enough. Well, if it's your child, it happens often enough. This is a preventable tragedy. Sudden cardiac arrest takes the lives of thousands of children and young adults each year, but a simple heart screening might have saved them. These are the voices of parents who know. For more information about what's being done to protect young hearts in your community, visit your local sudden cardiac arrest prevention champion.